Not a great day for volunteering outside. Even with the steady rain, these Saul volunteers are here to help. You can tell how dedicated people are. <laughs> these hardy people layer up and gear up to clean up downtown Hillsborough. <laughs> Add grabbers, guides, and gloves. There you go. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> this monthly Hillsboro Downtown Partnership event is especially important this week, leading up to Earth Day. It's always more to be done for Earth Day. The way the climate change is happening, Earth Day just feels more important now. Earth Day and Solve are synonymous. This is what we're, we're here for. And so Earth Day, we really look at as, is our big day of the year. Solve CEO Chris Carrico says they hold over a thousand events every year. On Earth Day, there are 150 events scheduled. She wants those who take part to have an experience. Walk away with a real sense of pride and accomplishment, but also then come back to volunteer or create their own event. That's exactly what Solve trained event leader Elissa Joy Payne has done in Hillsboro. We partner with Solve, trying to help give people an opportunity to get out and be part of their community in a really rewarding way. Solve organizes cleanups of rivers, beaches, illegal dump sites, trash, and graffiti. They're experts at getting you set up to clean up. And we'll help you set up your registration page on our website, help you get the right property permissions, tell you where to go for disposal, help walk you through what supplies you might need. Then Solve supports your event by email inviting helpers from their list of 30,000 people. Um, a lot of the volunteers we get come through Solve and find us that way. Last year we picked up over 780,000 pounds of trash in the state. I have a real beef with people throwing garbage on the side of the road. We live in a beautiful state. Why you want to treat your home like this is beyond me. Matt Hackney and his wife Carla both grew up here in Hillsboro. If I just complain about it and don't do anything about it, you know, then I'm just as bad. It feels like maybe five pounds, five pounds, eight pounds of stuff. A lot of just wet paper, wet plastic. I have a hat in there. I found a lot of cigarette butts. Yeah, lots of plastic, lots of cigarette butts. The work is constant in Hillsboro, and they keep things looking good. But more trash keeps showing up. But even on a day like today, volunteers are bringing back buckets of little trash and garbage. Through rain or shine, these hardy Hillsboro volunteers are working towards a brighter future. It's really am amazing that we have volunteers that continuously come out with us week after week to help clean up the state that we all love. For Earth Day, I'm Stephen Redland, KGW News.